on Ike Turner. You, I support you, Ike. Yeah, you support Ike Turner, but you call Will Smith a punk. He's calling you a hypocrite. Will Smith is a fucking punk. He's a little well, sissy ass he said, punk. Well, he says, how can you compliment Ike Turner and not call you? Shouldn't you be calling Ike, Ike Turner, Turner a punk? Ike Turner has been bad mouthed by this Hollywood. Ike Turner, I grew up where Ike Turner was an icon in our neighborhood because he always stopped with his homeboy, brought fries and hamburgers and Cokes and would sit there and talk to us youngsters for two, three hours at a time, telling us to stay straight, focus on school, get a decent career together, act like you've got some sense, treat women with respect and treat your communities with respect. Tina Turner drove around in a matching Rolls Royce. And if you made the bad mistake of confusing the two vehicles, she had rolled the window down, cuss you out, spit at you, tell you you weren't worth a goddamn, and she would treat you like dirt. How else would I do that? Okay, fine. One particular anecdote, personal eyewitness, ear, uh, ears heard, went to a picnic, family-style picnic, not picnic, barbecue, four houses down from where the Turners live. Ike was down doing his gardening. He put his trowel down, wiped his hands over, came over and talked to the young men, including me. We all played football for Dorsey High, asked us how the team was doing, talked stuff to us told us to be in school. He went back, that witch, Tina Turner, came out the door, started cussing at him. He started talking to her, saying, please, there are children around. Stop that. She wasn't mad at him about a woman. She was mad at him because he had a writer's block on a song they were working on. She wound up coming out and hitting him as hard as she could, it looked like, with one of these heavy cast iron head rakes. We thought she had done him some serious harm. Yeah, we saw that. I saw her when she was standing in line at Ralph's Market on Crenshaw Boulevard at the railroad tracks. There were four little high school girls went to Dorsey. I was in college, a senior at the time. Tina was sitting, standing in front of them. One of them got the nerve. Tina turned around and called her a sleazy, greasy bitch. Don't ever talk to me unless I give you permission. The girl started crying. That's why I don't have any respect for that woman, because Hollywood sat there and tried to run a game on Ike. Ike and his new wife were in front of me for two arbitration proceedings. You know what for? Because they had a foundation to help out abused women. What it was about is if the woman signed a contract, they would give her money to escape from the abuse. If she went back, she owed a repayment on what was a loan. If she left, it was a gift. That's what it was about because Ike Turner was an upstanding man and that sleazy heifer. Oh, and I don't, we don't even talk about what she used to do when she was a pimp in Memphis. And when I got here back in the early 70s and I started getting clients, who were scared of that person because she was a gorilla pimp. Yeah, let's talk about that. That's how I can talk about a real man who stopped every time he got over and over and would talk to all of the young boys in the hood about being straight, getting your studies together, paying attention to being crime free and listening to your parents and being something in life. Yeah, I talk about... That's talk ass. We 